It's Yo Ujo again with my very childlike voice, and I am here to respond to Rick Perry. There's really nothing that I can say that hasn't already been said by millions of other people, and I've seen all these hilarious parodies. There's only, like, I really can't even think of the ones I don't like because there's so many that I do like. I don't know if it's because the the thing was just so horrible or if they're actually, well, some of them are actually really genuinely funny. I mean, hilarious. But it's like, I don't understand these people that don't understand why everybody's so angry about this. First of all, as a patriot, he disrespected the men and women of our armed services. Once you single out a certain group of all these men and women fighting for our rights and to protect our country and sacrificing their lives and their friends and their families to do something so great for us, that's like, you know, you want to be president and you can't respect the, everybody in the armed forces, let alone all Americans? I don't understand why they don't understand why we're angry about that. And also, as has been said time and time again, children are allowed to pray and celebrate Christmas in schools. And it's just that they're not allowed, them nor anyone else is allowed to force it on other people. That's what's illegal. But apparently Rick Perry is just too stupid to understand that. And I think he would actually be worse than George Bush. I mean, I I really don't know about his governor history. I haven't heard much good. I mean, for for myself, I don't know. But, I mean, everybody is looking for the economy to get back on track, which is Louisiana's problem. Bobby Jindal is back in office because he did bring in jobs. But morally, we're, like, fucked. I mean, this is... The, the reason why this is one of the anti-gay states is because, of course, more so of who runs it. And him being funded behind the Louisiana Family Association of Bullshit is what makes it what it is. And then that leaks off in other people. And, you know, if the head is sick, the body is sick is what I'm saying. And we can't look we look at money as what we're willing to sell out for. We have to have our core values. I mean, besides money, money's important. But if you don't have your core values, like you stand up for what's right and what's wrong, you really don't have anything. And I said all that to say, Rick Perry's not going to be president. Michelle Bachman sure in the fuck ain't going to be president because we're still too sexist to have a female president, first of all. And second of all, she's a stupid bitch. Ain't none of them bitches gonna be president. The only the only Republican candidate that I'm looking at being president is actually a guy whose names I can't remember and probably Ron Paul. And the only Democrat I can think of right now is Obama. There is this guy named Fred and he's an openly gay candidate, but I don't know if he's still running because I haven't heard anything from him recently. So we got that and uh, I, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. If I don't post anything uh, between now and next year, have a good Christmas and Happy New Year. See you later.